Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Yes, I am speeding, Carl, but I'm speeding because it's 716 and I think I can get 45 minutes in of fishing tonight. I've been working on videos all day. Not videos you guys are going to see, but videos for other people. So uh, it's been a busy day. It's Saturday. No, swim no swimming today. So we're going to go over to the frog pond, but we didn't bring frogs. I know that sounds stupid, but we did bring the new uh, hyperelastic dart. Uh, Worm spin, which has that uh, Colorado or Will Colorado blade on the back. It might be a I don't know which one blade it is, but we've got that in the back, and then we have a, a DOA Cinco that we have got rigged with a weight in the front. And I know I'm already dreading that I'm almost out of the neighborhood, and I don't have a frog on the lure on the rods. But that is just you know how it goes sometimes. You got to try some new stuff and really I love Cinco fishing as much as I hate it because it's so slow I love it so you guys are going with me we're going over five minutes from here I do a montage but by the time I turn the camera around I'm pretty much there that's a joke anyway hope you guys are having a blessed day let's get a fish on because didn't realize I didn't hit the button for the GoPro. So I brought two out here. I got the worm spin from Hyperlastics that has that blade on the back. And then I also brought a DOA worm with me too, a Cinco. The last time I was here, a, a lizard crushed them in that stuff. I didn't bring a lizard, I know, but I thought this would be something a little bit different for me and a little change of pace. So that's why I'm going to use this. A lizard, a lizard and frog has been ridiculous here. This is what I call my frog pond because when I walk around the edges here, the frogs will jump over my feet just to get out of the way. And they're giant leopard frogs. They're they're just huge, humongous frogs. It's it's so weird. So, oops, that was a bad. Should let that one go. So a frog usually does really well. Now having said that, most of the fish that I catch on frogs have to be small, small frogs. And they're, and these bass are just so, Jesus, holy crap. That took the rod out of my hand. Jeez, I wasn't even looking at the, where I was. That took the whole rod right out of my hand. Look what it did to the bait. Wow. That was weird. That snapped me, man. I'm not joking there. That was, oh, of course I'm not in the middle. So you gotta find that other hook point. Wow, that thumped me, man. Man, I was not ready for that. Here I am talking about something else. I don't even know what the hell I was talking about. That the rod almost came out of my whole hand. Wow. That was pretty impressive. I've gotten a lot of bites lately on this worm spin. It's kind of one of those I love I have a love-hate relationship with lure right now. I know it works. I just need my confidence to get better with it because I lost a giant one the other day with it. And uh, that little 
spinner on the back just really is really, really good. And it's, this is one of those lures that you can just run really slow and let the blade do the work. I don't know if you can see that, there was a wake put. Oh, what is this? We've got, a... oh, you gotta be joking me. That was probably a good, good fish. I don't know if you could see that behind the bait, the, there was a wake coming at the bait. Hopefully that shows up in the video. Oh, you gotta be joking me. That one I set the hook on, and I don't know if you could hear it, but the drag actually started going. Now I don't, I'm not saying I don't have my drag super tight and locked down, but it isn't like I have it, well, maybe it needs to be locked down a little bit more. You know, I know everyone has their, their own opinion on what Cinco's they like. This is by far, in my opinion, the best Cinco I've used. And it isn't that I know the guys really well from DOA and don't love Mark Nichols and everybody like that. I just know how long it took him to make this and what his thought, oh, I got picked up there and dropped. No, I got it. There he is. Two casts, two bites. Little one. I saw my Cinco go. I think I can save that Cinco. Let's see how we do with this one. Favorite color on this one. I don't know how I got green ones, I'll be honest. I don't have a clue how I got a green one in my bag. grass I think yeah it's just runs casting like I said the other day Callan was in here and he only fished this area right here he uh, I think he caught more fish than I did I think I'm not sure he probably did he had a lizard, I had a lizard, and then I, I turned a, put a frog on it and lost the frog on the third cast. Yeah, I got a bunch of weeds on my line. Oh no, I don't. That felt weird. There's one. one again good little fight though trying to go in those weeds no you don't you're not going in there oh another small one eating the worm thank you mr. bass I saw a bass jump right there just a second ago where was that I think that was a bluegill eaten, by the way. We've dropped, so I think last week, Thomas and I came out here and we dropped like 150 shiners in here. Spent, I think I spent $180 on shiners. There's a bite right there. We spent $180 on shiners just because we wanted these fish to get bigger. A lot for them to eat. But sometimes you just need to come out and go fishing. And that's what I'm doing tonight. I'd like to go right down the edge there. Because I think that edge... Ooh, right off the bat. Is he on? He is on.
I mean, that fish, that bait didn't even hit the wall. Hit. And that's the best one of the day. And there he goes. Let's see if he moves. Wrong way, fish. You gotta be joking me. Get in there. Go, come on. Little crappy fish. Covered me in mud. That bait didn't even hit the, get to sink and it got hit. I mean, they're hitting it as soon as it hits the water. That was the second one that hit. I mean, I didn't. I didn't even have time to set, un, unclick the bail, and it it hit it. Not the worst night, not the greatest night, but the DOA Cinco was the lure of the night again. It's just, it's that good of a lure. I wacky rigged it, put a little weight in the front, and that's where all my bites came from, or majority of my bites. I got a bunch of those bites at the beginning with that worm spin but they were just striking the spinner or the blade on that on that worm so i switched it out and as soon as i switched out i got a lot of bites it was uh, it was great to come out here i got to spend exactly an hour fishing because it's 8 16 right now and i'm gonna head home and i'm just excited i hope you guys enjoy the video click that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and take a kid fishing get your fish on Thank you guys for watching this. Cheers. I want to personally say thanks for watching the video. So do me a favor, click that thumbs up button and help us grow this channel. If you want to catch your personal best, I'm going to show you how right now. You got to click over here. Why? It lets you subscribe to the damn thing. Or if you want to see our last video, it's right over here. Remember, take a kid fishing, get your fish on. We will see you soon. Cheers.